Jesus' name, Jesus, Yeshu, Yesuos, which is the original Greek name in the original Greek Bible. All of these mean the exact same as Isa. Isa ibn Maryam, which is Jesus the son of Mary. All of those, there is no difference between them. So if you're going to say Isa and Yeshu are different people, then you also have to say Jesus and Yeshu are different people. Because you, you understand they're just translations of the same name. No. Why do you disagree? Okay. Yesu in the okay, if you take the okay, what is it? What is the name of Jesus in the Arabic Bible? Is in it the Ar Arabic Bible? Yeah. The Arabic Bible means nothing. It's not the oldest Bible. No, no, no. We're talking about language. I'm not talking the about Bible, the Bible. The, uh, okay. the language in which, please, the language in which the disciples wrote the Bible was Koine Greek. That's the only language that matters when it comes to the Bible. Aramaic does not matter when it comes to the Bible because it's not the language the Bible was written in. It was written in Koine Greek. Do you understand? I'm waiting for you to finish. I'm, I'm done. Okay, fine. So please don't interrupt, okay? Of course. All right. So your point is that they wrote the Bible in uh, uh, Greek and you're claiming in Greek it's... Yesuos. What is it? I E S O U S. -E what is that? What is that? Say? Can you pronounce it louder so I can hear it? E S U S. -E so can you say what it? What what does that uh, pronounce as? That? Uh, it, it, it's the I in Latin would become J. So it's Jesus. What is it? E S U S. And what is it pronounces as? I just pronounced it. <laughs> can you do it again? Because I missed it. In Yesuos in Greek. Okay, Yesuos. Yes. Okay. How do you get Isa out of that? Yesu. Okay. No, 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 there is, there is. My friend, listen, is in the Arabic Bible, Jesus called Isa? The Arabic Bible, like I said, is not the language in which the Bible is written. No, 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 I'm not asking, that. this is not the question. You said in Arabic, that name translates into Isa. Okay, l that's your point, right? Let me, let me give you an example which is very similar to the example. No, you're no, no. Me. We're, we're deviating, sir. We're I'm, not going to. Okay, deviate. I don't, if you're going to say I'm deviating, because I want to continue this conversation. If you're going to say I'm deviating, you can just continue saying what you're saying. No, because you're taking it in another direction. I just made the point. I said to you. What's, what's the name of Jesus in the Afrikaan language? Uh, in the Afrikaan I'm, uh, I'm discussing this yeah, with him. I know, but. I don't speak Afrikaan. It's the same point. It's the same, same point. point. It's what, what is it? You tell me. I don't know. I don't know what's in the Afrikaan. If you don't speak Arabic, then why are you contradicting? No, because he's claiming, okay, he's claiming that Jesus' name translates to Isa in Isa. Arabic. Okay. Uh, is, he, please, is he called Isa in the uh, Arabic Bible? Please, please, please. Um, let me... Or is he called Yeshua? I was going to give you an example. Let's in say, the Arabic, he's Yeshua. My brother, my brother, please. Yeshua. Yes, my brother, please. That's it. If I say, okay, let's say you have a name, right? Well, I don't know what your name is, uh, but your name, in another language, they may not be able to pronounce it the exact same way. You understand? So they would try, they would try, make a translation of that name. For example, Greek to Latin, you have Iesuos in the Septuagint, right? And in the Latin Vulgate of the Bible, you have Jesus. You see, Jesus and Iesuos, one's Greek and one's Latin, but they're both talking about the same person. In the same way, you have Isa in the Quran, Isa ibn Maryam, which means Jesus the son of Mary, and in the um, Arabic Bible, which is a trans itself is a translation of the Latin Bible, they say uh, Yesu, which itself is not the same as Yeshu, which is a, once again a different name. So all you have different translations of the same name, which in the original Aramaic would have been Yeshua. And did you know the Arabic Bible was retranslated because originally it said Isa. It actually did. That's, that's it true. It said Isa, that's true. and because they didn't want that same so we uh, have a conversation with one guy with the, there's another the guy he wants yeah. to jump in okay please um uh, okay he, he's going to get upset. i'm gonna so um, I, I, I understand I, your point but he's gonna get yeah upset. he answered the question anyway. well, I, I, i'm going to i'm, just I'm to having a video me. with him okay so let's just keep it that way right now instead of talking about names why don't we talk about who jesus was okay that's more so, important so again back to the point the name of jesus in arabic is isa ibn maryam is not because it's not in the if if they were it was isa in the in the bible first, 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 the arabic bible says a lot of things that aren't true the arabic bible says the messiah is the son of god so you're saying i don't, I don't believe that the arabic <laughs> so bible I'm, I'm translator say you're saying the arabic bible translator <laughs> The Arabic Bible translator incorrectly, uh, incorrectly and uh, falsely changed the name of Jesus, which was Yeshua, to Yesu. Yesu. Yes. Right. So that's a false claim, right? I mean, that's a false uh, thing in the Bible, the in the Arabic is, Bible. The, thing is, the correct, please, 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 the please, correct please, translation please, of Yeshua would have been, would have been Isa.
would have been Isa, yeah? What I was going to say is the original Arabic Bible, which is the oldest Arabic Bible we have. move over here, man. We are, yeah. We're blocking the camera. We are, we're trying to be on the camera. Okay. The oldest source of the Arabic Bible we have actually mentions his name to be Isa. However, in order can to make you him... show me the, or, the Bible where it can says Isa? You, you show me the Bible. No, I swear. Then they changed it to Yesu to make it more in line with the Latin Vulgate. I'm not going to say that was a wrong decision. However, it, it was a change. Are you finished? Absolutely. Thank you. Give me a moment to question without jumping in. And please, as everybody else, please don't jump in. Let me uh, make the conversation. You just said that in the original Bible, in the Arabic Bible... The, or well, well, when we say original, are we talking about the Greek? Okay, so you said in the Greek original Bible, I don't he was named... I, I, would, I just want to clarify, I don't believe that the Greek is the original Bible, yes. but it's the oldest Bible that we have. Yes. It's the okay. oldest we have, I don't believe it's the original. The okay. original is in our mind. Not everybody, not Jewish everybody, okay. Okay. not everybody, okay. 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 not everybody, okay. Okay. not everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody. Yeah. Okay, not everybody, okay. Yes. Alright, so, uh, just so that I'm clear, because right now I just want clarity where this is coming from. Okay. The, uh, Isa, you said, was in the Bible, correct? Originally? Uh, yeah, the, the Arabic, yes. The, oh, sorry, you said, which Arabic? Sorry. Okay, um, so Isa is an Arabic transliteration of the Aramaic name of Jesus. Is the Arab, Arabic transliteration. Okay. Was Isa originally in the Bible in any language? Any language? Jesus was called Isa in any of the Bibles, no matter it's Greek, Arabic, Aramaic, whatever it is. What, I, what I'm going to say is, Isa is closer to the oldest Bible we have than Jesus is. Because, okay, Jesus for example... Uh, no, okay, can you, can you uh, do me a favor? Answer the question that I'm asking, not what you want to say. Because he if I ask you a question, no, no, I'm, you just said he okay, keep okay, mind, now keep you guys are jumping in. I, 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 I just want to clarify. Please, 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 it's gonna. I, we, I agree with you, but we, he's gonna, he's gonna get upset. We, we he can handle it. Okay. How old are you? Are you, are you I'm, underage? I'm 19. I'm 19. Okay, okay. Yeah. he's, he's over 18. <laughs> Let him handle it. Yes, he's a man. Yes. What, I, what I was going to say is, we have, we have three different sources here. So we have the oldest written Bible. By Bible, I mean New Testament, by the way, not Old Testament. Old Testament, is of course, in Hebrew, but the oldest New Testament is the Septuagint, which is written in Greek. However, the language of Jesus and all of his disciples was Aramaic, was Aramaic, which is the closest language to Aramaic that still survives today is Arabic. Assyrian. Assyrian, yes. Assyrian and Arabic, which are very similar. They're, they're from the same root, they're from the same root, yes. Wow, he made a very good point, by the so, way. So, the oldest um, the oldest Bible we have available, the Septuagint, the name of Jesus in that Bible is Iesuos, which is in Greek. Okay, can you repeat that, please, one time? Please, the, I missed that. In the oldest Bible we have, the Septuagint, Jesus' name is Iesuos. Uh, okay, can you speak it very clearly? What is it? I, I'm, I, I don't speak Yesuos, it. Yesuos, because it sounds like a mix of Isa and Yesu. It, it begins with the letter I. Okay. Iota, Iota. In well, Greek. my friend, you're claiming Jesus' name is Isa. Okay. In Arabic, yes. In Arabic. I don't believe that's what he, he, okay. he was. Actually, I'm trying to get to the. Root. He didn't speak Arabic. I'm trying to get to the root of that. Where you got that idea from? Okay, let, let me give you another. So example. you, no, 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 no. Just stick with the first one. Please, let's, please, my stick with the, let's stick with the first one. Okay. Sure. Okay. So can you? Because uh, I'm not very clear, and I'm just trying to get clarity. You just said that the oldest Septuagint, which is in Greek, which is which is in Greek, and the name of Yesu. Can I just clarify something about the Septuagint? It's not, doesn't look at the New Testament at all. The Septuagint, it's different, yeah. the Septuagint <laughs> was a Greek translation from the Hebrew the, Old Testament and, and Aramaic, that they then yeah, yeah. retranslated into English. But I'm, I'm so, not going to bring that up because um, he's going to get upset and he's going to walk away. What? Let him walk away. Yeah. Well, we are really discussing the, the name of Jesus. I, 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 I would just like okay. to elaborate on this real quick. The Septuagint mm -hmm. and, for example, the King James Bible that we have are two completely different books. Why are you speaking to them? Huh? Why are you speaking to them? Why? Uh, why? What do you mean why? Don't speak to them. No, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 Listen, listen. It, there's, there's the, no reason, the reason we speak to him, hold on. Hold on. The yeah. reason we speak to him, right, yeah. is he can do nothing to us. While he's speaking no, wait, to us, hold on. He's afraid. Why are you afraid? 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 Why this he has no choice to expose. Don't speak to them. Live no, no, no. You can use the. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. 
Yeah. You're afraid, man. Yeah. 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 How are you going to go forward? You're blocking the camera, please. Uh, Just stand over there. I'm not associated with this man. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want to clarify. I'm not associated with that guy. Okay, fine. Um, uh, yeah, just stay on the corner because uh, you know you keep up blocking. Okay, so my friend, let's just get very clear because I said Isa is not the name of Jesus in anywhere at all, and uh, including in the Arabic Bible. I find it very ironic. I find uh, it very I, ironic. Uh, let me finish my point. <laughs> no, but, uh, let me finish my point, please. And you come along and say, no, 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 no. His name trans translated. Transliterate. Or transliterated. Meaning it's not literally translated, but transliterated. It comes to Isa. I can give you many okay. more. If that's the case, then the transliteration would have been the same in the Arabic Bible. Not because, necessarily. Why not? Okay, let's say you have one word. Okay, for example, let, let me take the word name Zachariah, which is also in the New Testament. Zachariah, in, he was a Hebrew speaking man, and his name would have been Zachariah, like that. It would have been a CH, like a hard sound, a hard letter. In both the Arabic New Testament and also the Quran, his name is Zachariah. That's not incorrect, it's just a transliteration. It's something that's taken from one language to another, and you're not going to be able to perfectly encapsulate all of the sounds mm -hmm. because it, they're different languages. Yeah, just like Ibrahim is Ibrahim, right? Absolutely. But this is not uh, something else than it's that. Not, right? It's not something okay. new, it's not a different Is person. Ibrahim called Ibrahim in the Arabic Bible? Yes. Okay, yes. so they didn't mistranslate that. It's not, it's not a mistranslation. You can't incorrectly transliterate something. For example, what's your name, brother? Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, okay. Let me translate to another language. Let me translate to Hebrew, for example. But they don't have the letter S, you would be called Uncle Sam. W would, that be, would that be wrong? Would that be, no, it wouldn't be. They're just speaking a different language. That's fine. You see? My, so you're going around in a circle now. Okay. <laughs> listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Because you're talking to yourself right now. You're okay. not talking to me. I'm asking you something. I'm telling you. Ibrahim is Ibrahim Absolutely. in Arabic. Yes. It's the same word in Arabic Bible. Uh, the Arabic Bible is not an authority in terms of the Bible. It's not, I'm, not, it's not the I'm not talking about authority, I'm talking about language. The Arabic Bible gets many things wrong. Oh, my friend. Multiple things wrong. Are you it's, saying that language of Arabic in Arabic uh, Bible is wrong Arabic? It's not wrong Arabic, but the Arabic Bible okay. makes mistakes. So, yes. Okay, look, I'm not talking about theology. You keep missing the point. I'm just talking about the language. Whether well, theology, I'm not history, talking about language. Do the Arabic Bible is not correct, not, my friend. Okay. okay, so are you saying it's wrong? This guy's running around in circles, man. This guy's offended. So you're, you're, you're saying that language-wise, Arabic uh, Bible is wrong in the Arabic language? In terms of the transliteration from the name of Jesus Christ in um, How the did Aramaic... it get the Jesus name incorrect, but it got Ibrahim's name correct? That's my question. Do you not get That's the point? That's a complete fallacy, my friend. Well, how? Uh, let me, okay, my, my, my friend, my friend, let's say, let's say I do a test, let's say I do an exam, and I get half the questions right and half the questions wrong. How could you say, or how could you get this question wrong if you got this one right? It's a fallacy. It doesn't make okay, sense. Okay, so you're saying that they got the Ibrahim name right, yes. but they got Jesus' name wrong yes. because they didn't call him Isa, yes. which would be the correct transliteration of Yeshua that's in what, Arabic. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. Okay, we heard that. That is what your position is? Yeshua is... My friend, I'm trying to confirm your position. Are you just going to jump around? Okay, I, just I, I, give I agree, me your position. I agree with what is your position? I feel like you're misrepresenting part of that because the Arabic Bible does not say Yeshua. Okay, it says Yesu, which is not correct. Fine, okay, Yesu. Yeah. But does it say Isa? Isa would be a closer transliteration to the oldest Bible Okay, we have, I'm not talking about closer. Now we're getting closer. You see how it's changing. Okay, now it's closer. Before it was wrong. Now it's closer. Okay, so Isa is the same as Yesu. Okay, well, I, I do want to clarify your point. Are you saying that the Quran made a mistake transliterating it, or are you saying they're different people? I will answer that question once you answer my question, okay? I, I want to clarify your point quickly. No, my are point saying, is that the Quran Isa, is not talking about Isa, that he's got the name wrong, he's got everything wrong in the Quran. He's got a person wrong, like he's a different guy. <laughs> okay, if I start calling you uh, Mr. Tom, is that going to be fine with you? Mr. Tom. If I go and say, I was talking to Tom, your name is not Tom. Who is Tom? This is my Asana, friend. My friend. <laughs> you're, you're, you're mistaking. When you're talking about history, you got to get the name right of the person. If you don't know the name, they don't know the name of Jesus. They gave, they gave him the wrong name. My friend, my friend, Muhammad. I've, I've had a good conversation. Uh, so no. I, I, thought you were, I thought you were like... No, 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 no. You, you cannot understand. make those when claims. When you mentioned Tom, you're, you're, you're being yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's because you just have, lost... Have a nice day. Have a nice no, no, no. You have a nice day. 
because you can you can answer I, your, your bio your Quran friend, is indefensible my friend my friend your Quran is I, I, indefensible I, I, can you allow me to speak please if you're going to say that there's a incorrect transliteration of a name that's a point that can be made if you're going to say it's a different person that lived a different life that's just so weird. you're take, you're giving me then you're saying is uh, the Quran got his name incorrect no, he's the that's same not person. What I'm saying. That's not okay what I'm saying so I'm what saying are you saying Please, can you can you allow me to speak? What are you speak? saying? The Quran lists 25 prophets by name. Okay, the Quran lists 25 prophets by name. All 25 of them, the names are listed in Arabic, Arabic. Okay, because that is the language in which Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke. Okay, if you're going to say all of those names are different people who live different lives and the Bible is correct and the Quran is incorrect, that's a ridiculous statement. And no, even Bible scholar would agree with you. Not even a Bible scholar would agree with you. If you're going to say the Adam that's mentioned in the Quran and the Adam that is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible are different people, that's ridiculous. If you're going to mention the Isa in the Quran and the Jesus that's mentioned in the Bible are different people, that's ridiculous. You understand? Are you finished? You can say that theologically. I'm waiting for you. Just today. let me know when you're finished. Okay. I'm, 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 if you want to speak now, you can speak. No, no. I want to speak because you just said Adam, or is it the same Adam uh, in the Bible? Are they yes, different? it is. Yeah, okay. Are they different? It's the same yeah. person, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Now, in the Quran, instead of Adam, his name was. I don't know, just make up a name like Billy. Rashid. I don't know. Rashid. Let's say sure. he said uh, Allah made a man and his name was Rashid. This would be not Islam. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, but you're I'm giving you your fallacy. Your there's fallacy no, no is fallacy no, because you're you're okay. Bible says he's Adam and Quran follows it Adam, and says yes. it's Adam. Okay? Bible now we got that correct. Okay. So we got Abraham correct. Abraham in the uh, in the uh, Bible is Ibrahim in the Arab, in the Arabic language and also in a lot of other related languages. Absolutely. So I also know other related languages. That's why I know some Arabic because I speak other languages that are related to Arabic. In our language, Ibrahim is Ibrahim. Okay. So I understand some of this. So you, I'm not coming from totally something that I don't understand. Okay. Now, now, no, no, no. You interrupted me. I didn't interrupt you. Please let me make the point. No, no, no. You, bro. Let me make my point, bro. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. You don't interrupt. Okay. So they can't. No, no, no. I'm not going to stand for it. I just want to make a point. Can you, can you tell them that? No, no, no. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Let me make a point. Let me make my point. I let him make his point. So they won't let you make your point. They'll make their point, and then all of them jump in when you start making your point so so are you, are you gonna let me make my point buddy I'm not gonna waste my time okay you're gonna let me make my point tell your friends to hold it back tell your friends to hold it back hold it back hold it back he is 19 years old he's not a boy if he's a boy then take him away he's a man okay. he's a man he's a man he's not a boy he's a man okay so let him stay he's a man okay so he got Bible, he got Ibrahim right, he got Adam right, he got all the other prophets right. Now when it comes to Jesus, all of a sudden, he's Isa. The question you're asking here is... And is he Isa in the Arabic Bible? What Arabic Bible got all the Arabic names right of the prophets. What I'm going to say here... Arabic Bible got all the names right of the prophets, except Isa, no, they got that right, Yeshua. I want to say one Yesu. thing. Yesu is his name. Right. I speak related languages. Rumble, in my language, Jesus is also Yesu. So, now we got that straightened. How do you come with Isa? And you see, you are claiming it's in the oldest Bibles. Which oldest Bible is it in? What? Okay, my friend. All right, so uh, we just did this. Won't let you make your point. If God, if uh, if, if uh, Arabic Bible has the name of Abraham right, if it has the name of Adam right, it, the transliterated or translated, whatever you is correct, that means that what they're saying is wrong. It's not in, and they can't prove that Isa was mentioned in any of the Bibles, in any of the languages. And even if it was, that doesn't mean that his name is Isa. Okay, his name was Yeshua. What did Miriam call her son? That's the question. And what is the translation of that in Arabic? It's Yeshua. Islam is a lie. It's, a de it's sent by the deceiver, Allah. And everything about it is a lie and deception. So they're deceived and they're going where all the deception leads them to. Jesus is God.